Welcome to this musculoskeletal ultrasound series. I'm Dr. Gautam Das from Dorodia, the pain clinic. Here, we'll be posting some of the very important musculoskeletal structure seen under the ultrasound. So first, we'll be demonstrating the 3D anatomy of that particular structures, and then we'll be scanning and demonstrating the different parts in this sonar anatomy. And also, we'll be demonstrating the needle trajectory for the interventional procedure. So we'll be talking about the common flexor tender, which are getting attached with the medial epicondyle. And tendinosis of this common flexor tendons is known as your golfer cell. So there are five tendons. If you are coming from the lateral to medial, so this is your pronotal teres. Then next tendon is your flexor carpi radialis. So this is your flexor carpi radialis. So if I am removing that, next comes your palmaris longus. This is your palmaris longus. If I am removing that, next come your flexor carpi ulnaris. And after you are removing the first layer of the muscle, the second layer, that is your flexor digitorum superficialis. So from lateral to medial, we are having the pronated teres, then your flexor carpi radialis, then palmaris longus, flexor carpi ulnaris, and below that, flexor digitorum superficialis, that also a part of the common flexor tender. We are demonstrating the common flexor tendon and common flexor tendon as you know are getting attached over the medial epicondyle of the elbow. So what we will do, we will be palpating the medial epicondyle and we will be holding the probe like this, keeping the aspect marker towards the proximal side. Patient will be little bit externally rotated the hand, patient can be sitting or either supine position. So, I am holding the probe like this. So, if we are going for the common extensor tendon, then our probe should be facing towards the thumb. So, here, this is the medial epicondyle. This is the slope of this medial epicondyle. This is the sublime tubercle of the ulna. And this is the joint. And this part is the common flexure tender up to here. And you remember the lower part is your medial collateral ligament or medial ligament complex. So this is the anterior band of the medial ligamentous complex. Medial ligamentous complex we get, we see better when we are putting the distal end of the probe towards the little finger. But here, pulling the probe towards the thumb, and we are seeing the common extensor tendons better. And this is the myotendinous junction. And like the common extensor tendon here also, if there is tendinosis, we call it golfer's elbow. And the same way, my needle should come like this at a different angle, and we should do the multiple fenestration here. And along with that, platelet rich plasma is the drug of choice which should be injected in and around this common flexor tendon. Steroid is not given nowadays, but in certain conditions where there is steroidivitis, increased vascularity, we can give steroid, but steroid must not be given within the tendon. Steroid should be given either superficial in this area or it can come below the tendon in this area between the ligament and the tendinous areas. But as I told, nowadays we prefer platelet rich plasma for both golfer's elbow as well as for tennis elbow. <laughs>